So just to go through the basic menus that are available on the uh, 32S2 here, if I hit the blue shift key, I can go to parts. It gives me the integer part, the fraction part, and the absolute value of the number that I have, especially if I have a complex number, then I can find the magnitude by doing the absolute value. I have the probability menu where I can find combinations and permutations. I can seed, I can find a random number. The linear regression menu, I can find x, y, intercept, slope. Um, the, these are all statistical now, so I have the mean, of the X's, mean of the Y's, the weighted mean. You can find the sample standard deviation, the population standard deviation, and then the sums uh, for when I summon my register. And when we, we look at statistics, we'll get more into that. Other menus are the base menu, so I can do a conversion between decimal and hexadecimal, octal, binary. And there are flag menus, these are all programming now, so I can set flag, I can clear flag, I can check and see if a flag is set. Again, for programming, I can do the X and its relationship to Y. This, makes, this lets me compare something in the X register to what's in the Y register, whether it's not equal to, less than or equal, etc. X register and its relationship to zero, and these will be more important for programming. And I think that is, oh, sorry, we have more menus here. So you have a memory menu. This tells you how many bytes you have remaining, what variables you have. I do not have any variables. I do not have any uh, programs currently. It will tell you what programs you have. The modes menu, where you can change from degrees, radians, what you would like for your decimal separator. And display menu, if you would like the display to be fixed, scientific, engineering or display all the digits. So those are the menus.